You hear them every day. Vancouver has thousands of birds, and in 2018, it will have thousands of bird watchers. That's when Vancouver is hosting the International Ornithological Congress, or IOC. Oh, there we go. There's the red-winged blackbird. See the, the red on its wings? They're a really special bird. Dan Straker has been working with birds for years. He was instrumental in Vancouver implementing a bird-friendly strategy last year. This, and events like Bird Week, have turned the city into a world-class place for birding. With thousands coming here for their love of birds, he says the event will help generate millions of dollars of revenue for the city. Uh, it's a really big deal. Birding is a big deal worldwide. Uh, there's a lot of secret birders out there that you just don't know, but uh, yeah, it'll mean thousands of people coming to Vancouver, lots of tourists, uh, and a lot of interest will probably uh, come from it. And what they'll see, crows, jays, robins, even hummingbirds, shown here at the UBC Museum. But one species will be absent, the mina bird, which hasn't been here since 2003. It was pushed out of its habitat by starlings. Uh, what becomes challenging are birds that depend on specific environments like old growth forests or really large spanses of prairie. So those particular birds are dwindling in numbers. Balsden appreciates Bird Week because it heightens people's awareness through events like this show and tell. Western crow. Birding is one of the fastest growing hobbies in North America. Straker suggests there is a birder in all of us. I think it's because it really is a, an easy connection for people to just pick up a pair of binoculars, they can go to a park, they can go almost anywhere in their city. So it really gives you a connection to nature no matter where you are. So when thousands of birders flock to Vancouver in 2018, the birds will be waiting. Matt Humphrey in Vancouver.